Hey everyone, it is Friday here at Craft Clutch. That means it's another Coaster Friday, and today we are going to make a Conversation Heart Coaster. We are actually going to make more than one coaster. What I did is I had some little conversation hearts and I took pictures of them and blew them up on my computer. I printed it out with a laser printer. But all I'm going to do is cut these right out. I prepared my resin. I'm using the Easy Cast. And if you're looking for the coaster mold, you can find it over on my website at craftclatch.com. I bought it off of Amazon and I have it linked over there. I have cut out the hearts just like that. And they're going to fit in there pretty nicely. And here's my resin, but I want to give it a background, and since we're thinking Valentine's Day, I'm going to go pink. None of my hearts are pink, so a pink background would seem pretty reasonable. I'm going to use a mixture of this light pink and this darker pink. And then I have these little sparkly things, too. Then I'm going to mix it all up. Once I feel like it's mixed well, I'm going to pour it into each of these cavities. And then I'm going to let that just sit. I'll let it sit overnight, about 12 hours before I come back and put the hearts in there. Now while these are sitting here, bubbles are going to rise to the top, so give it a few minutes and then take a lighter and run it right across the surface. And that will pop any of the bubbles. You can also use a straw, like a drinking straw, and blow onto it and that will work as well. Our resin has cured now. We're going to just decoupage these guys right on there with some Mod Podge and we're doing the super gloss because that doesn't leave as cloudy a film as a regular Mod Podge so that's why we're doing that. I'm going to just put it all over the bottom of each of these hearts all right, and then I'm also going to put it all over here on the bottom. I want full coverage. Place it down cover everything. Make sure the edges are covered. Um, I'm going to rub it down with my finger when I have enough Mod Podge on there. There we go. Let's get rid of bubbles. And I'm going to come back, let, let this dry, and then I'll come back to probably two additional coats just to make sure it is well sealed, particularly along the edges, because if it's not, we'll get some dark spots on here when we pour the resin and we Rather not have that, right? This stuff is dry, hopefully well sealed. I've created some more resin and I'm gonna just pour it right over each of these. We'll give the bubbles a couple minutes to rise to the top and then we will let them sit a minimum of 12 hours before unmolding it. Remember, it doesn't fully cure for 72 hours, so you can even leave it in longer than that if you wanted to. The coasters are all finished and cured. Now we have three fun heart candy coasters. So I hope you like it. Hope you give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments below and we'll definitely see you next time. Happy crafting.